So I've started the recording. This is your lecture for Design 350. It's Thursday the 26th, and we're on a Google Meet. What we've got going for today is our demo of the week one submittal. So let me go ahead and get started with that. There's a bunch of, uh, by the way, I don't know if you guys know, but you can make these cool tabs um, in, in Google Drive. If you click the plus and then right click, you can make it into a group. So you can group tabs together to open and close them. And you can give it a color and all that kind of stuff. And it's just kind of cool uh, how you can do that. So um, you can see I've got my 350 group open. It's a good way to be able to, to, to handle all the tabs that you have. So there's many ways to get to our, to our work for today. Um, remember that. Down at the bottom, that's where you find your submittal stuff. So you go to your weekly uh, task bar for, on the calendar, and at the bottom, there is the work. You can also get to it from the modules. Oops, I'm in student view. Um, I don't know why I wasn't able to get to that. In st oh, it's because I was in the wrong, wrong one. Uh, but in student view, you can come here and again, you can get your template and do all of your work there, or you can do it from the calendar. Your choice, I'm going to do it from the calendar and it says to get my template. I have to be logged into my Google Drive, but I'll get my template and it'll ask me to make a copy, which I'll say yes and do. And there it is. And um, so a few things. One, this little file thing allows you to move it to somewhere else. It just threw it into your Google Drive. So you can put it in a place. You can go through your Google Drive and make new folders and things like that. I'm just going to leave mine alone. But it's good to change this to make it um, a little bit more correct. Maybe put your name on it. There we go. And I'll just start plowing through it. That I'm, I'm ready to go. So it says to put my name here. My WID number. If I've submitted it on time, I'm going to make it green. Uh, you don't really have a Google Drive folder with anything this week. I didn't ask you to, so you can leave it alone. Uh, I work pretty much... Uh, two hours on Tuesday and Thursday. I do more than that. And then on Sunday, maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it on Friday. I'll say I'm going to make my submittal. And then my actual hours so far are there. And what did I work on? Uh, this was just the reading list. And here I've got slides 1 through 15 of this submittal. So the deliverables are, what were you supposed to do? I was supposed to do reading. And then what was I supposed to do? I was supposed to fill out slides 1 through 15 of this submittal. And this is going to be upload the submittal. Welcome in, Alma. Good to have you in. I'm just doing a demo of the... Uh, of the submittal. So that takes care of that and that kind of gets you the feel for how to take account of things. If you're gig working or working in a larger company, because of productivity and getting paid for work that you do, you usually have to say how long it was and what you did. And at some places they compare actual hours to scheduled hours. And if you get done in less, you're highly productive and they like you. If you get done in more, you are less productive and they give you things to do to become more productive. 
So then if you were at the lecture one or watched lecture one, you'll put X's in there. There was no simulation this week. There were four postings on this, but I'm only asking for two. And so you might do something like that. Now I can't do this part yet because I haven't I haven't got my visualizations done. Maybe you do have them done. But I've done enough to get one point, so I'll move on. It says, show evidence that I know where the Canvas site homepage is. I can do that. I know where that is. I'm going to go to my homepage, and I'm going to make some evidence. So I'll just take a snip that says... I was there. And then I can even make my snip a little bit more obvious to say that is my landing page. There we go. Got it. And I can make it a copy, right click copy, edit copy, or control C. Those all work. And I can put it on my page. And I probably have to do a little bit of work to make it visually pleasing. In this case, since I'm only putting one thing on, I'll just do that. And this is a little bit, I can uh, probably put a border around it. If I want to do some cropping of different shapes, I can do that. But this looks okay to me. Looks pretty good. Okay. I could even, if I wanted to, put a link to that page. Now, only you could get to it in this case. So maybe it's not that, that great of a thing to do. But you could put a link to it or something like that. Or you could even put an additional image that shows your dashboard. If you wanted to do a bunch of extra stuff to show your dashboard and then maybe even circle which one you had just to show where that came from. And it doesn't have to be big. And I can even put a cool arrow in and rotate it down and kind of move it into place. There, now somebody will know this is my landing page. And I can, I can give that a color, too. Somebody will know that I that this is. And, and I could even put maybe even a little thing that says this is my canvas dashboard. And put something down here that says that this is my landing page. I tell you, that's about as obvious as you can get. There we go. Uh, that's clear, clear, clear. Now, what would full credit be? This, it's pretty obvious that that's what it is. But if you want to do just a little bit of extra work to, to spice it up just a little bit, you can do so. Okay? I don't know how much extra time you have in your life. To be able to do some of these things. Now note a few things. 
this does show some space around the edge so that's good this shows some space i have a really mild border to make my eye see this as a thing and i've got some annotated labels to make it really really clear that's that's um you know meeting a lot of the good standards well, let's take a look at the next oh my google calendar okay well there's a, a bunch of places to get my Google Calendar. Let me come back to here. This is a this is a great place to show my Google Calendar. So there's my SNP. And oh, that's kind of sloppy, but that's okay. I'm going to put design 350 and public link to the calendar so that people know what it is. And there's Google Calendar. That really calls it out. Control C. And I can come back here and go Control. Now look, I, I probably need to crop this. And remember, I want to just get the parts that I want so that I'm not seeing a bunch of extra stuff. And it says here there's a spreadsheet. Have you guys seen that thing? I wonder what that looks like. A spreadsheet that lays out the course. Wow, look at that. I didn't show that to you in the past. I'll show that to you next week. But if you feel like it, you can do that. Now, I don't want to see all the X's and stuff. So I can go to the view. Turn off the grid lines. And take a snip. That tells me what's coming up this week. Or in the class. So that's even more. This is above and beyond. This is above and beyond. But you could put this down here. And you could draw an arrow to that, too. If you felt like it. Not necessary. Absol oh, wrong, wrong thing that I put it to, right? Let me get that a little easier to work with. That's a little too thick. A couple of you have excellent graphic art skills. So you'll do much, much better than I do at this. There we go. So this is saying what this is, and this is my count. This is pretty obvious that this is the calendar, but I can I can I can do something here if I feel like it. So that really calls that one out. So there. Now I got I got a little something on that one. YouTube playlist week one. Let's see. Where do I find that? Right there. That's where I find it.
So there it is. And I still, I might highlight that just so people know that that is the YouTube playlist. And it might be worthwhile in this case to at least go to one of the playlists and and show that. Show that that you know where that playlist is. Yeah, I think I'll leave that up here, but I'll leave it off to the side a little bit. So there, there's the the YouTube playlist. And where did I get this one? Let me let me put some little stuff around it. Put some stuff around it. I probably need to crop this one a little bit. So the care that you take does matter. Does does do good to do as nice a job as you can. And so this came from move this one down. So that's the playlist as it was found on the calendar. So so that's good. And you could do some extra work on that a little bit. And then which one is this that I'm showing here? And I think I could, yep, see, I can just go like that. And now this one gets made dinner. Welcome in, Eric. Just going over a couple of things for the submittal. There we go. So that might that might show a little bit. And you could even, if you want to, it's it's useful on these things to go ahead and and put some links in. So here we go. So I'll put the link when I click on it of course my link button shows up and unfortunately they don't have the embed option here I, I don't think it lets me do an embed uh, yet oh I could I could actually put the video in right from here if I want to I don't think I can put a playlist in but I can put a video in and I'll show you that one in a minute Okay, so there's a little bit, and that's so that's got that one going. The cruise a lot discussion board, discussion board. Okay, where am I going to get an image of the discussion board? Again, I'll go back here because I know that off of the calendar, I can always get links to everything. So there we go. There's that. And then when I, I might even show that I know where to go to get them. And I, I might take an image of this. And remember, if I if I squeeze it this way, it's cause, ah that doesn't look good. So I either squeeze it down 
or decide that I want to crop it. And I'm noticing that not many people have done these yet, which is okay. They don't take a lot of time. It's not a big deal. But remember, this is part of what I'm going to gonna grade you on when you look at whether you participated that's that's a little bit of the of the grade that you'll get but let me go ahead and um, do that so I'll put it there I think I'm gonna put it there there we go. And I can make this a little bigger. I'll do some adjustments as I go. And now I might even want to put something from the introduction. Where was that introduction thing? I think I, I have my own video of that. Here it is right here. I can I can actually take that one. Grammarly does more than catch errors. Wow. With Grammarly, you can find Hi folks. Let me monetize. That is the weirdest thing ever. Let me do my share on this and see if I can get that to actually come in here. If I go to insert a video from YouTube you can you can actually do this stuff if you if you want to if you want to throw your stuff onto videos uh, and use a YouTube channel you're welcome to do so okay and then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put again a little arrow. just to show which one that is. Look, it's right Hi, in folks. there. Let Is that the coolest thing you ever saw? So if you, I mean, now, how much of this do you need? Either this or this. And I'm going to label those so that I know what they are. This is my discussion board from Canvas. These are my discussions from calendar. I think somebody would figure out that I kind of know where everything is coming from. There we go. So that's maybe how you would do this page. You pretty much need this or you need this. I'm moving along and I'm only 25 minutes in. So this is, oh, professionalism. Where was that? That was in that playlist too. Wasn't there a professionalism thing in here? Uh, maybe that was in a different one. Uh, so that wasn't in this one. So I have to go find that professionalism one. Hmm. I think that was in the syllabus. So now I do have to go looking. Yeah, it was in the syllabus, right? So he's saying, yep, go to the syllabus. Okay, so here's my introduction to syllabus. Here we go down here. Here's my syllabus. Click, 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 click. This one you got to work for a little bit. There it is. Ha <laughs> ha. 
And let's see, this one was... from the syllabus that's where it came from and i could if i felt like it copy that url and actually embed that thing right here right insert a video now the videos only work uh from your google drive or from a url Click, black. There we go. Doing a lot of cool stuff here. Okay, and then what's next? Oh, then it's just making sure that you certify that you've looked at all these pages. So this assignment for this week is not really that long. And you could make it even shorter than what I did because you really don't have to do all that stuff that I did. That's just there if you feel like it. And to practice as much um, presentation skill technique as you can there we go I've got it done hot diggity dog so let's go see now about oops where did it go here we go let's see about so I did it right um yeah professor. and there's also other tabs in or other other slides on the uh, uh, um, yeah template. I don't know what. Yeah, you don't like, don't do those ones. I updated the template. I it was brought to my attention oh. that I had I had done a demo and accidentally left them in. Oh, so, okay. So Thank you were just like super efficient and fast. So you <laughs> so you don't need those other those other ones. Yay, huh? Less work. That's good. Okay, so let me go to the submittal site. It says access it, make a call, start the assignment. Let me go to student view. And I've done that already. So I am ready to submit. I'm ready to submit. Start the assignment. Do the okay. Start the assignment. Oh. And then it says, oh, first it says download to, as a PDF. File, download as a PDF. There it is. So in Chrome, it comes out down here. In Firefox, it's up here. I don't know what happens on a Mac. But you, you know your own browser, hopefully. And I'll start the assignment. Click. And in this case, I'll upload a file. Click. And once I've clicked that, I can just drag it in. Or I can click choose a file and find it. Now, the other thing, it asks me to do this. There we go. Did or did not. Okay. So some of you are familiar with this already. Make this box a little bit bigger. Paste it in. And now I just have to read it through and make the appropriate changes. 
I certify that this work is my own work and is a true representation of my skill, ability, and the available time that I have to complete the work. This week, let's see, technology and access to software was or was not a difficulty. For me, it was not. And technology and access to software did not slow me down. Those are two different things, so I have them differently. For this class, six to eight hours is more than enough, um, I think, but maybe it was or wasn't. And spending this amount of time maybe was or was not a difficulty. I was able to spend the time. Now, here's one. When I needed help. If you didn't need any help, you can just say not applicable. There we go. Other factors. Did they impede your learning? And the next one, the quantity or quality of your work. Those are two different things. You can think you, you can learn everything without doing all the work. So I'm going to say it did not. I just have to make sure these all are true and factual as they, as somebody would read them. And they did not. Submit. Woohoo! I did it. And you will see that you can download it and you can see what was there. You can make another attempt if you go, I think I want to do, I have time. I think I want to do a little bit more. You can go to the grades. And from there, you can always click on it and find out what you submitted. You can add other comments. You can record a comment. All sorts of things you can do. Okay. I'm going to now show you how I'm going to mark it up. I hope. Um, let me go to my grades. And I'm going to find test student. And I'm going to go to grades. And I'm actually going to go there. And no, I need to go to my speed grader. Actually, I'm going to go, I'm, I'm going to do this different. I'm going to go to my modules. That's my easiest way. I'll show you how I go about. Oh, there was one in there. So I'll go to my speed grader. And up it comes. And oh! Bummeroni, you're going to get half credit on this one. So you're going to get a blue mark. Come on, blue mark. I forgot to finish it. I get one point. This one sure looks good, though. Green. 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 And these are all green. 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 This is how I'm going to grade it. And when you see each color mark, you're going to know how many points you got. Because there's a rubric, right? I'll show you the rubric in a minute. So there we go. So you got a 9 out of 10. Oh, and I'm being nice. I'm saying, please add those in and I'll, I'll regrade it. Woo! Man, I'm glad Schuster is so nice. So let's see. I just need something on there from each one of these. So I'm going to do a presentation style that's sort of half. That's the main, the main deal right there. I don't need this anymore. The main thing 
And then I want to show these things kind of smaller. So I'm just making these all the same, kind of the same width. They almost fit. Make the whole thing just a little bit smaller so I can spread them out. And then I like to make them all kind of distributed so I could go arrange, distribute vertically. There we go. And that leaves me some spot right here that I really want to show that I did the syllabus. I think that that one was important that I show that I did the syllabus. So then I can go back over to here. And there we go. There we go. Download as a PDF. Back to my week one submittal. And I have to get into. Go back into my student view. New attempt. <laughs> then you have to send me something that says that you did that or I won't know. And then I'll go back and, and redo it. Okay. So that's sort of how all that works. Um, let's see if there was anything else I need. Oh, the, the, the rubric. Uh, let me just make sure that you understand the rubric. So let's pull this thing up. And pull up the rubric. So that I've got them side by side. There's that one. Where'd my other one go? There they go. And I can look at these side by side and just go, was it accurate, meet standards, ability for independent work? Well, that really wasn't applicable this week. Okay. Visual clarity. Did it meet some nice layout standards, colors, fonts, things like that? Did I have annotations? Yes. Look, there's annotations. And so on each page, I'm going to look at each one of these standards and see. Now, on this one, really all I've got is complete and if annotations and layouts might be there. But now I could easily say that that's full credit. This one, it's clear. It's got nice annotations. It tells me what I'm looking at. It's complete. So that one would be full. So you see how you just go through these. Now, this is meaningless this week, technical content. But the other ones are, you know, have you done a nice job with all this kind of stuff? Um, are you ready for good entry-level work? Are you still going to need help learning how to get things to look professional? Or, uh, you know, you just didn't demonstrate enough for me. Okay. So that's how your rubric is going to work. So that is what we've got going for your demo 
for this week. So are there any other questions before I stop the recording? Does anybody need to see any other cool stuff? Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and stop the recording now.